Back to it. Nope, that's not Monkey. That's Jamie. Yeah, you got me filming this time again. Don't mind me. So, this episode of Monkey's Kitchen, we go get down to some real home Mexican style cooking. See that? We got some chips, some salsa, some ground beef. Over here, some refried beans, some cheese, and some herbs and spices. And tecate. Oh yeah, I went to cut the. That's right. Jamie's making monkey style nachos. So this let's get started. A bit too effed up. I am so messed up right now. It's amazing. Kids, don't do this. <laughs> or do whatever. I mean, <laughs> at least wait till you're legal, all right? Hey. Monkey does not endorse underage drinking or smoking. Unless you have a big ID. <laughs> er, wrong, Stephen. Anyway. Drinking is very bad. <laughs> Yo, I got a big ID, though. <laughs> Hi, y'all. We go on unedited this week. <laughs> Shit. Un motherfucking edited. Okay. Well, here we go. Deadpool. To the cooking. All right. So we're going to start off with that fire under the pan. Well, we will drop that ground beef in there and break it up. What? Setting low, high Ha! Ah, crank that motherfucker up! Oh, honey. You're so fucked <laughs> Oh, some people ain't got no idea. Oh, I do. I saw the fucking empty beer cans on the table. Dos! If not, dos equis. <laughs> All right. So we'll grab the turner and we're gonna break up ground beef. Okay. It's a spatula. No, that one is a turner. It's a spatula. That's a turner. It's a spatula. You want me to go out there and Google it? Comment down below what you call this. It's a he motherfucking it a turner. turner. I call it a spatula. Who's right? What are we talking about? Baked McGee over here. <laughs> that is a turner, not a spatula. It's a textual. What is a tantula? Retarded spider? It's a turner spatula. <laughs> it's a spurner. Oh no! There it is, everybody. An actual face palm. <laughs> anyway, we gonna break up the ground beef. I well, thought I already knew how to, to, to do that. Let's try that again. You're I talking like I should I be. I already knew to do that. Without you telling me. To Y'all. Comment down below. She talking like I should be, right? Yeah. Who worked all day? Huh. Look, I actually had the day off. And I still had to call into work. <laughs> it's fucking... Uh. Justice, if you actually watch this video... <laughs> come on, bruh. Bruh. Justice is a dude? Justice. Here's what I, I started remembering his name. You're, you're, and if you're actually watching this, I'm what? sorry for thinking you're new. No, oh. no. I started remembering his name because Batman. <laughs> Justice Batman. Batman Justice. Nice. It, it's just his mental correlation. And I hate that. <laughs> and Jamie's over here manning to get spattered by beef grease. Ew. I am so glad y'all can't see the look on my face. Beef grease. Beef. Look at me over here trying to pretend to be you with my hand right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of chili powder to the ground beef. Right now? Right now. Wait, garlic powder, onion powder. The three powder. that I slid to the front. And chili powder. Garlic powder, you're telling me when, right? We'll do roughly a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of garlic powder. Garlic. Maybe a little more. A little more. That's good. Jesus Christ. It's garlic. It's good for the old ticker. All right, onion powder. And with onion powder, we're going to do about half a tablespoon. A little more. There you go. And we're going to grab that chili powder. Mm -hmm. 
pan and we're going to do roughly a tablespoon of chili powder. A little more. That's good. Alright, so we're going to cook that ground beef in its own fat with some garlic powder, chili powder, and onion powder. And once we've mixed our powders in a bit, we're going to turn the heat down to about medium. Right now we are at high. Hey, we're at where you're feeling right now. Ladies and gentlemen, high doesn't quite describe it. Yeah, and then some. I'm flinging meat over here. Yeah, we got Chuckles from the Peanut Gallery out here, who's currently playing Madden 15, which should be 25, but fucking GameStop fucked up. <laughs> I was wondering why. I was like, this isn't 25. <laughs> yeah. Nah, GameStop fucked me. I didn't realize it's like a week after. Was that at least good? No. Oh. 25 15? is so much better than 15. No. Was, it, was any part of it desirable? I, mean, I, I got a Madden game, but not the one that I wanted. Any kind of sex is good sex, right? Yeah, I was trying not to go down that route. That's a lie. There have been a lot of bad sex experiences. Oh, sorry. Anyway. There's been a lot of bad sex with... I said experiences, not with uh, anyone. The signal it sounded like she said, with my exes. Well, yeah. I just would be true. What are you trying to say? No, wait, you're complaining about my sex. Remember, guys, this is unedited. <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot. You're yeah. Like, hey, was... Shit. <laughs> I am not the dick in this situation. Well, I mean, have been. <laughs> so am I. Okay, anyway, what do, what do we do now? Alright, so we're going to turn that down to medium. Okay. A little lower because it's a gas. There you go. So now, we're going to grab cans of refried beans. And we're going to dump them in that there pot. That pot. And this is one of the weirdest goddamn things I've seen. Yeah. You know, I can open a can. I don't trust your... I can open, open a can. And open this one. Steven, grab the can! Thanks, honey. Love you. You love me too, damn it. Yeah. Hi, y'all. I'll put you down for a second. Okay. Hold, hold this. Hold that. You were zoomed the fuck in. I don't think so. No, you were. Oh, oh. Look at that. Open the can successfully. Wow. Didn't even cut myself. Hmm. Alright. So back to Jamie with three fried beans. Now that y'all all seen my goddamn tongue, we're going to zoom in on that there can where she's shaking the living hell out of it. Like a redheaded stepchild. Oh, wait. No. We just beat redheaded stepchild. Huh? I'm kidding. We do not do so. I'm backing away before the beans go flying. Sorry, the kitchen is such a mess, guys. It's been a long few. Uh, yeah, time. I don't like this. Okay, you know what? Lower it. There we go. Okay. Jamie used spoon. If any of y'all like the tick, Comment down below and let me know, because I love the tick. The cartoon, not that weird show that they made recently. That was just weird. Okay. All right, so we have the refried beans in the pan, pot. It's a pot. We're gonna turn the fire on beneath it. Hi. For now. No, and we're gonna grab one of them. Yes, I am. And we're gonna grab one of them green spoons that are on the rack right down over there to your left. Preferably not the broken one. 
because it's floppy and just not quite strong enough for the job. Usually I think floppy doesn't do a great job. Ha 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 ha! Oh! Squish knows all about that. They excuse you? It's a joke! Remember, unedited. <laughs> I'm cooking. Anyway, now that there are beans flung across the stove. That's oh, beef. Oh, that's ground beef. That just looks even more disgusting <laughs> now that I know that it's just meat. I told you I was flinging meat over here. Okay. Anyway, back to our beans. Now it's time to season our beans once we've stirred the meat a bit. Red. Ah, that was a terrible Love that thing. sound. Two tablespoons garlic powder, one tablespoon onion. You're going to tell me when, right? I just gave the measurements. Come on now. I mean, that's a lot of garlic right there. That's you maybe, were supposed to tell me. That's maybe three tablespoons, but hey, I love garlic, so I don't care. Richard, you're supposed to... You know I can't <laughs> do it by eye. That's why I freaking... I don't know why this was... Tell me when to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamie. And look, it's a wild Steven. Holy crap, I just lost a turner. You should not be recording right now. That's fine. Okay, are you going to tell me when to stop? One tablespoon. You know I don't know what that sure is. off that tatula. <laughs> it is not a spider hey. with mental issues. Richard! Focus! I know it's hard to do when you're high, but... Fuck! Okay. A little more. That's good. Thank you. Good. We gonna rinse this motherfucker. Some people just cannot eyeball measurements. I'm sorry. Yes, that was assault. That actually hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Two counts of assault. Shut up. With an herb. Technically a root. Oh right. crap, I didn't stir the beans. Yeah, we kind of want to do that a little bit. Oh, uh, this add... is the broken one. Whoops. Maybe that or I just broke it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to add our chili powder and cayenne pepper. How much should I go over? We're going to do about a tablespoon and a half. Wee bit more. Wee bit more. That'll be good. More for good luck. Now for the cayenne pepper. <laughs> we don't want to use a whole lot of this because certain peoples are sensitive to spices. Touch more. That'll be good. And make sure you stir them, little motherfuckers. Okay, this is a really broken spoon. Yeah. I don't know what I said perfectly not broken one. Hey, let's have some light on the subject. Oh, God. I can see clearly now the light is on. Welcome to Monkey Style Cooking, live and unedited. Well, <laughs> not really live, because it's a recording. That would be creepy if it was live. Yeah, you actually can do live on YouTube. Why not? Don't do it. Nicole. Oh, Nicole. <laughs> yes! The Nicole that watches these videos. There's the lens. She told me that I should do live one time. Just make sure to tell her first. Uh, can I turn the heat off on uh, Turn it down, like medium low. Okay. I'm gonna break up our ground beef just a little bit more. I do not like holding a turner this far away from the actual blade handle thing. It's not blade handle because I'm holding the handle. I'm too high to concentrate on what the hell I'm actually saying. So, I'm sorry, guys. That's attractive. 
Alright, now we're going to put away our chili powder and cayenne pepper because OCD motherfucker. Ugh. Okay, we now we got to grate beef. some cheese. That's not going to be enough. I don't have any more brown beef thought. Yeah, we do. You can tell me if I have to have a bag the rest of it. Okay. Well, she won't do that whole thing. I like meat. That kind of meat too, but I like this kind of meat on my nachos. Oh, man, I did it. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, Great and cheese. Are really the ones. Nicole would agree. <laughs> Actually, she keeps telling me to do more unedited ones. Right. And while yes, they are kind of easier because I don't have to sit at the computer for like two, three hours cutting clips out of a clip. Sometimes it's a little dangerous. Uh, I'm going to use the lid thing. What lid thing? Yeah, you know, the thing with the thing and the button that I taped on so it worked. Yeah, that lid thing. So again, get rid of that one. Well, don't get rid of it, put it in the drawer. Keep that one tucked. And we take this guy. Ow. And we just pop a little green ass in there. That's our cheese grater, everybody. So we're gonna grate up some cheese to go for our nachos. Now I just hear Simpson with his nacho hat. Ah. Singing nacho man. You're not supposed to grate your fingers or your nails. Shut up. I actually prefer not having grated acrylic in my nachos. So while she's grating some cheese, I want to have me some beer. You're not even going to do any cuts? Nope. Oh God, I am so sorry. Not at all. One continuous recording. No cuts. No edits. All together. All of a sudden, I want to make a cut. <laughs> oh. There's a piece of cheese. Yeah. You didn't need that, right? Well, it just snaps right back on. Okay. cheese on my foot. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how the hell you're doing that. I don't know. Like, you're also grating the cheese sideways. You should, like, lengthwise. That's what I'm... Did you keep, like... Twisting it while you're doing it, it's like really weird and it makes my OCD go off the fucking chart. Well, we've got some progress. I'm um, sorry, it's a little on my way. Alright, while she's doing that, I'm gonna come over here. Move the ground beef a bit so it doesn't start to burn. And we will give you all a handle view of our refried beans as I give that a quick stir, which has started to cook to the pan. That's fine. Uh -huh. So, we're going to turn the fire down a little lower. That'll be good. <coughs> and we'll check on that cheese. It's a growing! That's what he said. <laughs> Why do we live with two guys? <laughs> Your choice. It's delicious. Kind of. Fuck me. Sorry, that was... Number two. Queso. I was gonna grate that. Come here. Give me the cheese.
Y'all, she done gone stole my cheese. <laughs> Literally, right out of my fingertips. Done gone stole my cheese. As Stephanie Tanner would say, Hi. how rude. Sorry. <laughs> we got a parrot. <clears throat> So how's that cheese going there? Yep. Done. All right. Now we get the fun part of putting everything on a plate. <clears throat> Wait, we're done? That's it. This nachos. Not a whole lot to it. We still got a 20 minute video out of it. Like this is a really long video for such a simple meal. Well, if we had it done uncut, it'd be a pretty long video. A pretty short video. Steven! Alright, so for plating, we'll start with a couple handfuls of tortilla chips. Flour or corn, your choice. Personally, I'm a fan of corn tortillas as they are a little bit healthier. These are flour tortilla chips. Now, I generally make it a habit to not pile them in the center as it doesn't distribute the rest of your ingredients very well. So if you Maneuver almost a bowl into the center. <laughs> bowl. <laughs> I've had a few of those today. Uh, you can put your refried beans with the ground beef on top and the cheese over it, and it kind of spreads out a bit. But it gives you more chips to eat the pile with, rather than having everything under everything else. So probably give two to three spoons of your refried beans. here with the ground beef. We want to kind of pull that away from the fat and the grease. So we'll tilt that pan to kind of drain that a bit. That way we're not just dumping a bunch of cow fat everywhere on our plates. You can do that. If you want to hold the plates, you get a better handle on it. So one Turn of full, two turn of fulls, depending on how much ground beef you cooked and how much you throw on the floor. Sorry, it was a bad angle. And of course, some grated cheese. Uh, I personally prefer cheddar. Oops. And of course, we want to get a fork for our salsa. I'll just put the plate on top of the other plates. I forgot like olives, guacamole, and sour cream, but broke ass bitch problems. Hey, company I work for that still gonna remain unnamed. Yeah. Maybe more. Just just a little like two, three dollars more. Be awesome. I mean I get it if you can't, because you know, economy and the cheap company. You know, the leader of our country and all. I, I understand. But anyway, we've got salsa, cheddar cheese, ground beef, refried beans, and tortilla chips. There's some monkey style nachos. The only thing missing, sadly, is sour cream and guacamole. And olives. Maybe jalapeno. Mmm, some fresh jalapeno would be nice. Wow. Not that shit soaked in vinegar, because that's just nasty. This should be the thumbnail. I mean, if YouTube. Gives me that option, sure. Why not? I'm eating his nachos, that's fine. Anyway, that's all we got for you guys this week. So thank you for coming by for another episode of Monkey Style Cooking. Hope you guys like this episode, because hello, unedited. Or funny! And he saw more of me. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. 